Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I get uh, a lot of time to talk. I'm going to a cappella today. Here's what's on my mind this morning. And here's the latest on the ongoing Hockey Canada sexual assault scandal. You may remember that a few weeks ago, Scott Smith, CEO of Hockey Canada, was asked by several MPs in Ottawa if he would resign following multiple allegations of sexual impropriety inside of that federation. Amazingly, Smith told MPs that he would not step aside for them, but would if Hockey Canada's board of directors asked him to. Extraordinary statement, which led many, including myself, to wonder out loud, what is it going to take for anyone to take some real responsibility inside Hockey Canada? Well, I think it finally happened. Maybe kind of sort of. This past Friday, we learned that 10 provinces and three territories are threatening to withhold payments to Hockey Canada until they see some real change. Those payments are due December 1st. The provinces and territories collectively say they're appalled by what's going on and want to know what the board of directors' role is in all of this. Believe it or not, hours after that news came out, Hockey Canada, an organization that moves at a glacier's pace, announced that the chairman of the board, this guy, Michael Brindamore, is stepping down. Said Brindamore in a statement, quote, immediate action is essential to address the important challenges facing our organization, end quote. Big deal, right? Hockey Canada. Finally kind of changing their ways, right? Wrong. This guy was leaving Hockey Canada this November anyway. Seriously. They just sped up the exit. It's news, but it's not news, if you know what I'm saying. And whether or not it satisfies the provinces remains to be seen. What it also goes to show is that Hockey Canada still doesn't get it, never has. By the way, World Junior Hockey Championships start tomorrow night in Edmonton. I will not be watching. Over to the Jays. And on the surface, they had a decent weekend in Minnesota, two wins, two losses. But don't let the record fool you. They took some major hits. Let's start with Toronto's $150 million center fielder, George Springer. If you've been watching the Jays at all over the last little bit, you probably noticed that his right elbow is causing him a lot of problems. And after doing his best to fight through the pain, the Jays said no mas and placed him on the injured list Saturday afternoon. He'll likely need surgery after the season. One now has to wonder how much he has left in the tank for this season. Things got worse later that night for the Jays when reliever Tim Mazer right here dislocates his right shoulder trying to make a play at home plate. He's gone for a while. And when you consider he's one of the few dependable left-handed relievers they've got, this is Kind of a big loss. It's a bang-bang play, but there it happened. Jays sit 12 games above 500. They started three-game series starting tonight in Baltimore. You can watch that live on Sportsnet. Finally, some good news. Toronto FC's $44 million man finally got on the score sheet this past weekend in Nashville. Italian soccer international Lorenzo Insigne scored his first goal in Toronto FC Colors, and it was a nice one. That also turned out to be the game-winning goal. Toronto beat Nashville 4-3 Saturday night. Ten games left in the MLS regular season. The Reds are only four points back of a playoff spot. I think they can do this, but they have to make a run. They have to do it now. TFC hosts Portland this Saturday at BMO Field.